This is um, the fifth Sunday of Lent. Yes. And we uh, better again by the next week. Uh, next Sunday, we'll Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. <laughs> Says that. And um, but tomorrow, tomorrow, we're not going to get a match. Yes. We're not going to get. Yes. Yes. One of my own day and nobody. Hold on, look here. Did you work tomorrow? Yes. And the eleven o'clock. You know I got no 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 here at Bad Bella. Oh. Yes. Everybody will go to the uh, church and so on. Eleven o'clock tomorrow we we'll pray. We'll pray for peace and security in Anambra. We'll pray for peace and security in the southeast. Pray for peace and security in Nigeria, and um, and at the end of the prayers, that will mark the official end of the sita Monday sita. So our children can start going to school on Mondays. Our children can start going to school on Mondays. It doesn't make any sense doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You, I mean, people say they are protesting over marginalization. But this one, the way you want to protest over marginalization is to marginalize yourself. Is that? Yeah. Because when you stop the children from going to school, others go to school five days in a week. And then, as part of your own protest, you stop your own children from going to school five days ago, only four days. Then in the next 10 years, 20 years, they will also remain more marginalized. Isn't it? So it just doesn't make any sense. As I said to uh, people who keep working hard, um, everybody is working hard and praying that um, Nam Dekano I mean that he will receive expeditious uh, justice um, and uh, whatever is happening should happen expeditiously and uh, so but while you are working uh, while you are working and praying for that to happen they you don't do the other way you don't then you know somebody makes you angry um, in um, in Enugu you come down to your village in Anambra and lock the whole family up and say nobody will eat, nobody will go out, nobody will go to school, nobody will go to work as your own way of protesting that somebody in Enugu made you angry. Or that you have uh, seven or eight children and one of them is arrested um, and uh, is in the police custody. The way you want you protest is to come and tell and get the other seven. They can't go to school, they shouldn't uh, eat, they can't go to work. That's their own way of uh, protesting. protesting to ask for the other one to come out. So that just doesn't make any sense. Um, we cannot, for fear of death, commit suicide. That's what it is. And um, for the poor man in the street, for the poor woman in the street, for that pepper seller along the, on, on the road, for that vulcanizer, for that Arcada rider, for our petty traders who depend on daily toil and sweat to eat, we can't continue to make them poorer and poorer and poorer. Because each day you lock them out, you stop them from going to work, they are getting poorer. That just doesn't make sense. So, I think we have now agreed um, this wide agreement in entire uh, Igbo land and IPOB, uh, which is led by Nam Bekano, has also issued very strong statements that they support us in this regard, yes. that the sit-at-home thing must end and must end now throughout the South, it's throughout Igbo land. You know, and, um, and and that tomorrow we'll sit down that. And um, to the criminals, the remaining criminals um, in the bush who want to cause mayhem 
and so on. I think uh, the reading of today is quite appropriate. Um, John uh, 8, verses 1 to 11. Quite appropriate. You know, uh, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And today we ask for mercy also uh, for them. Um, but then, like uh, Jesus admonished the uh, adulterous woman, go and sin no more. Sin no more. That should be the message to them as well. You know, um, you have sinned. We all have sinned. But let's draw a line. And move forward. Okay? Come out of the bush. Come out of where you are. We are willing to show compassion and mercy. And to say, come, let's build a society together. Surrender your hand. And we will give you the training. And without my mobilizing the resources to enable you to rejoin society and contribute to its development. You cannot live by spilling blood, innocent, innocent blood, or going to bond properties, which we are also going to use the taxes paid by the poor people to reveal their gains. Just doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, and I think that conversation has to go on. People have to begin to ask questions. Does this make sense? It doesn't. And I said to those of them, because we understand, I mean, quite frankly, a lot of the people doing this in Anambra are not from Anambra State. They're not from Anambra State. Like the police arrested uh, 20 of these uh, thugs who are, uh, you know, uh, who are operating on the street and who said thousand and the revenue thugs ended. Arrested 20 of them. Of the 20 of them, 17 are from one of the uh, southeast states. The other three from another southeast state, not one from Anambra. So we said to them, Anambra is hospitable to everybody. We are the light of the nation. We accommodate everyone. But if you come to Anambra, you must live in peace. And if you want to join, the, if you want to become a make life impossible for the, uh, the, the, the indigents of the uh, of Anambra, well, you take it to the extreme, and the people will rise. So I said to them, Anambra welcomes everybody, but please, when you come to Anambra, live respect the law, the law abiding, because we are building a livable and prosperous movement. And violence has no place in the story, in the agenda. Violence has no place in the agenda. So I want to say to you, my brothers, you know, this has become like our, um, uh, because nothing else will happen without this. And that's why we are going to these foundational issues. We are cleaning up the place. You saw in Onesha yesterday, Fando Boko, I will want, there are many roads more than 20 roads that will become impossible because rubbish, waste have been used to cover the entire road. Yes. But all that is being is getting history now. Uh, we were there yesterday and we're not going to relent. We'll keep pounding and Umbra will be clean. Because cleanliness is next to cleanliness. So we have to get that campaign. Well, it's also linked to our health. Can people stay in that kind of environment and be breathing? That kind of stuff. You know, so we are on it. And um, God has promised us today that he will make a way where there is no way. And I want to say to all of you, I wish all of you a happy Sunday. And to say in your individual lives and in the life of our state and the life of the nation, God will make a way where there is no way. Amen. Happy Sunday.